All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. I wanted to show you a little bit of uh, information about a fault that uh, I think a lot of people will probably get on these Porsche 991s. Um, what we've got here is we've got the check engine light showing on this Porsche 911 991. It's a 2013 uh, Porsche 991 Carrera S. And you'll see on the message center here we've got fault engine control, start stop, operation deactivated, PSM loss possible to drive on carefully, engine fault possible to drive on. Um, we've also got the traction control warning light and the engine warning light as well so um, it, it's basically just to showing you what you what you'll need to do if you do get a, a problem like this and you want to try and maybe sort it out on your own you don't necessarily want to pay the, the costs that a garage would would um, charge you and it's totally understandable um, but you will need a diagnostic tool like this okay uh, this is the iCars of POR version 3.0 I'll pop the link to this kit in the description below this video um, it's a, it's a very good tool, there are fakes, there are clones out there on the market, but if you want to avoid those, then I definitely recommend using the link in the description below this video, because those fakes, they can damage your vehicle. In any case, um, I'm, 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 I'm raveling on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our vehicle, we're going to select Diagnostics, uh, we're going to select Porsche, select the latest model information, so, uh, go Vehicle Select, so you can either ask the tool to manually, uh, sorry, automatically find your vehicle or you can just select it manually I'm just gonna go manually Porsche 991 and then we're gonna select the control unit manually so this is where it gives you like a list of the different systems that I could put you could potentially diagnose with this tool uh, and because we're on this screen I will just scroll through them it does differ depending on which actual um, vehicle you're sitting in um, but this is the potential list of 44 for this specific vehicle, okay? Um, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna look at the engine electronics DME and we're gonna go read fault code, okay? And this is uh, what the fault the, the fault codes that we've been getting so we got um, bar ignition module cylinder 3 soft shutdown ignition module cylinder 3 uh, check PSM control unit now this fault will come on as a result of an ignition coil fault Okay, so know that and then we've also got a misfire cylinder. I'm oh, sorry That's the, the previous one mis misfire cylinder 3 and we've also got the same on cylinder 6 All right, uh, so we've got misfires on these on well We did have misfires on these cylinders um, Because you've got two misfires there on a potential uh, with two out of six the best thing to do is just completely change all of the ignition coils, which is what's been done in this particular case. So all six ignition coils changed. Still get the faults, still got the, the problems, but uh, that's where the tool comes in handy because first of all, you've been able to diagnose the fault. It's told you where the fault is. And then also you can then erase these faults, which will erase the warning lights, okay? So um, I'm going to go back and I'm gonna go read, uh, sorry, clear fault memory. And then we're gonna click OK. Telling the ECU that it's, oh, hang on, what we got here? Failed to erase operation, that's quite strange, all right. Um, it could be because the ignition, sorry, the engine is on, but the ignition is off. So we'll try that again, clear fault. Erase operation, done. Okay, and then we'll start the engine. See what it gives us. There we go. Engine has gone off. The check engine light has gone off and PSM traction control warning light has gone off as well and if we we've got all of the messages are gone as well and if we go back into read fault code we've got no fault codes found so it's cleared all of those faults um, and that is basically in essence in theory how these diagnostics work um, you know the, the the fault that we've been given there could be very different to the fault that you get um, it's just a case of finding the fault it's probably some sort of, uh, sort of small part or sensor something like that which needs to be replaced uh, that's in the best case scenario um, so you but you would need one of these tools to actually pinpoint the fault and then also reset the fault as well Okay, and that's that's as I say, that's how these tools work uh, But I hope it's given you a little bit of information on what you'll need to do if you do get a check engine light on your Porsche 991 It's not rocket science They can take a little bit of getting used to just sort of understanding how it works if you've if you've already got Experience with dealing with things like this over the years then it should be fairly easy to to understand how this whole whole thing works okay but as I say I will pop the link to this kit in the description below this video as, I, as you saw there it does other systems as well and it'll also do other service functions as well 
Um, you see it, we've got the dashboard flashing like mad here. That's because we've gone into the service menu and it's, uh, it's going to give us a list of the services that we can potentially do on this particular car as well. All right, uh, but as I say, I'll pop the link in the description and uh, yeah, fixing clones do exist. It's not worth going down that route, okay? Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this helps.